Are you primed and ready? So you might notice that I'm dressed a little bit differently. Like everything, due to Corona, homecoming was canceled, but one of my friends wanted to do something, so they are throwing a COVID homecoming. How do you get ready for that? Your guess is as good as mine, but this is what I'm going with. Anyways, today's episode is sponsored by Lucas Oil. They sent us some of their break-in oil to use on Carl. So it's time to get the engine filled up with oil, primed, and have the valves adjusted. Okay, so we're taking a break from assembly to adjust our valves. Lucas Oil sent us a whole bunch of their 20W50 break-in oil, which is high in zinc, good for protecting new engines, and a whole bunch of other stuff, but basically should be good for our camshaft and for our new engine. So we're gonna pour it on the rockers. We could pour it through the valve cover, but we're gonna have to take the valve cover off eventually, so might as well just pour it right on there. Running down in there. Oh. I know! Already over the side. That seems to work well. Someone's gonna comment that this is how you hold it when it like plugs, but it makes it so that I can see it better, so. Oh, it's cool, I can see it going down through the distributor hole. Just kinda. Oh my gosh, I can see it! That's so cool! Isn't that cool? Going down into the oil pan. Oh. You're doing good. Do you, want, do you want to trade? No, I just don't want to mess up. Again. You're doing fine. Number three. How, how you doing? I'm fine. Leave me alone. Stressful looking at the side. How you doing? Last one. Oh. We're full. We're over full. It's very clean one. more stressful than I thought it would be because I just didn't want to pour any oil over and it's not a very like big lip so that was stressful but now we have to prime the engine so we got this oil primer so we're going to prime the engine and we were told that it takes a while so we're probably gonna trade off probably so let's do it see if we can get it in <laughs> you're good a little bit Feel it snap down in there? I think so. I can turn it. Good. Give it a fast turn, see if you hear it turning down in there. Yeah, you can hear it. Alright. Man. Uh -huh. Alright, go You'll for it. You press down and I'll do this? Mm hmm. Was that too fast? No, nope, I think it's. I don't like that sound. Is it turning that thing or is it slipping? It just seemed a little loose. Oh yeah, it is loose. Yeah, it's slipping on the left. Here, let's do uh, let's try a different drill. So our first drill was spinning it all weird and crooked, so we're gonna go with a different drill. And now we don't have to worry about a battery going out on the shoe. Yeah. You can spin it faster. Right? That's nice. Yeah. That's good. Oh, look, my teacher. Where? Yes, yes. Keep going. Oh, look. Oh, yes. Keep going. This one. Oh, there it comes. Oh, there it comes. Hey! Oh, there it comes. There's that one. Oh, my gosh, what's happening there? And then I heard, let's just keep going after that. Do you need a finger break? No, it'll be fine. 
We're smoking. Show me where. Like oh, oh, that's smoking? Uh -huh. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> okay, as long as we get just another. Okay, let's stop for a second. Our drill started smoking just a little bit, and we didn't want to like completely burn it out. So we're stopping for right now, letting it cool down because it's like hot to the touch. So we primed the engine, primed it a little bit more after we came back. Ooh, it smells smoky. <laughs> but now we heard that you should squeeze some of the oil out of the lifters. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. Pretty tight. Push down. Okay, yeah. How hard is it? It's it's harder than it was before. Okay. And I can tell it as I do it more. I'm gonna let you do that. It kind of hurts, honestly. Okay. Oh, that's okay. I think we're just kind of. The next step was to adjust the valves. Now the book kept talking about intake and exhaust valves, but we didn't really know which was which. But then we got a good tip. The intake manifold has little lines almost coming off of it, and they match up with the intake valves. So whatever those valves are, they're the intake and the others are the exhaust. So we looked in our very trusty manual and it said that you need to get the first piston to top dead center and adjust a certain certain valves and then get the number six piston to top dead center and adjust the rest of the valves. So our first job was to get piston one to top dead center. What valve, watch, tell me what's, let's look at the, what's okay. happened with the valves on number one. Okay, so that is exhaust uh -huh. is going down. Yeah. So yeah, so we were at top to the center there. So there's exhaust, mm -hmm. intake's opening. All right, so it's coming up. The intake is closed, so the, the it's piston It's going down still. Oh, okay. Should be coming up now. Yep. Both valves are closed. And top dead center should be coming because my timing mark is moving around. Are we ready to almost at the top? Uh, I think so. That looks good. About there? Mm-hmm. All right, so both of these valves. Mm. Yes. Okay, cool. So here was our plan for adjusting the valves. I would turn the nut on top of the rockers, and Dad would turn the push rod until he couldn't turn it anymore, and then I would turn the nut another quarter turn. That sounded all well and good, but we had never done it before, so we just gave it a shot. I'm just curious if these feel... Do you want me to turn it? I kind of want to... Wow, that's so... Yeah, eventually it does kind of... I think I can feel... Yeah, so okay, that's definitely harder. So, as I back off, yeah, okay. okay. Okay, so nice and easy, just give me a kind of slow move around. Yep, keep going. Yeah, that's... It seems like you can still move it pretty well. I can. Um, I think, it, I don't know if it was the idea of, it was when you can't or when it's harder. So we've still got a little bit of room before it bottoms out. Give it another turn. Keep going. And I like where you were doing there before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is this is good. So now now I can't spin it easily. So come back. So I think that's our spot to where I I can't spin it easily now. Uh, so now what what I heard was once you get to that point you're going to do it one more quarter turn. So go ahead and attach it where you are. And if you're here, a quarter would be here. So go ahead and rotate it to there. Let's stop there. Okay. We're gonna say that to good hold there. Okay, so we're gonna start from this point here. Okay. We're gonna call this our, yeah. So go ahead and start tightening up. Good, it's getting there. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, right there. So one more, so put it back on. One more quarter turn. So here. Yeah, if that's here, quarter turn. Right there. A little bit more. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna call that valve adjusted for number one. <laughs> All right. Now we're doing.
90 degrees from there. Whoa, come back off. Now it's loose and like, yeah, it just like, it just stopped right there. So, okay, wow, that was a lot more definite than all the rest. Yeah, that's basically stopped. But keep going. Yeah, like, like keep going. I want to see. Okay, yeah, I can't spin it free. Okay, so we have adjusted the valves with number one piston on top dead center. And now we are going to adjust the rest of the valves with number six piston on top dead center. so oily. I don't know who got it all oily back in. Don't you? Go ahead. Yeah, you can. You might go switch around. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. okay. Give me. Uh, just reset and give me 90 degrees. And give me 90. Well, it's even hard with the breaker, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's not easy. Okay. I think. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. All right. So that was. Intake and exhaust number six. Number five, we are doing intake, yes. Yeah, I wonder if these bolts have been turned much. I doubt it. Over the years. Yeah, this is probably it. Yeah, go ahead and just do your quarter turn. All right, uh, we did five intake, now we're doing four exhaust. It is. Yeah, I say that's it. Go ahead and reset and give me a quarter. This was here. Uh -huh. That was number four uh -huh. exhaust. Do we have to do We're three? We're moving on to three intake. Yeah, so not the last one. No, I'm a mailman. Oh, we're getting there. Okay, we're, yeah, we're there. Give me another quarter. So now we're on the last one. That mm -hmm. was number three. Mm -hmm. It's this one. Intake number two, exhaust. It's loosey goosey. You can hear how like hard uh -huh. it is. You're saying, what? What have you done to us? Okay, we're getting. Give me a little more. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and give me that quarter. Valve's adjusted. I think it went pretty well. I'm not 100% confident that we did everything perfectly, but we gave it our best shot. So, what I'm taking out of the garage is that. I don't always know exactly what I'm doing with my car, and I don't always know exactly what I'm doing in my life, but all I can do is do my best and go with it. Thank you to Lucas Oil for sponsoring this episode and giving us all of the break-in oil that we needed. As always, thank you to my executive producer, Drew Carter, and if you would like to support me, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time in the garage.